Hi friends, welcome back to Gyan Vigyan Foundation's Ayer Academy and you are watching my YouTube channel Gyan Vigyan Foundation. So friends, today in this video, we shall try to understand one another subtopic in physics about gas and vapor. So friends, now let us try to understand about this subtopic that is about the gas and vapor. So gas and vapor are also sometimes randomly used. Therefore, it is important to understand the difference between the two. A gas cannot be liquefied by pressure alone, no matter how high the pressure is. In other words, in order to liquefy a gas, it must be cooled to a certain temperature. This temperature is called as critical temperature. The critical temperature for some common gases are as shown in the given table. Thus, nitrogen must be cooled below minus 147 degree centigrade to liquefied by pressure. So, now friends, let us try to understand some gases with its uh, critical temperature in degree centigrade and its critical temperature in degree Kelvin. So, the gases are like air. It has the critical temperature in degree centigrade as minus 190 and in degree Kelvin 83. Similarly, we can see one another gas that is about the nitrogen N2. It has the critical temperature in degree centigrade as minus 147 and 126 degree Kelvin and similarly we can see about the oxygen gas also. O2 has the critical temperature in degree Celsius as minus 118 and in degree Kelvin as 155 and we can see about the carbon dioxide CO2 which has the critical temperature in degree centigrade as 31.1 and 241.9 in degree Kelvin. Similarly, for water vapor, we can see its critical temperature in degree centigrade as 374 and 647 in degree Kelvin. So friends, let us try to understand about this subtopic that is sublimation. So, here have you seen what happens when camphor is burnt? All substances do not pass through the three states that is solid, liquid and gas. There are certain substances which normally pass from the solid to the vapor state directly and vice versa. This change from solid state to vapor state without passing through the liquid state is called as sublimation and the substance is said to be sublime. So friends, this was about sublimation. Now let us try to understand one another term that is about the dry ice. The dry ice which is also called as solid carbon dioxide and iodine sublime. During sublimation process, both the solid and vapor states of a substance coexist in thermal equilibrium. Most of the substances sublime at a very low pressure. So friends, by now you might have understood my subtopic in physics and if you have understood my subtopic in physics, then friends, please like, comment and subscribe my channel.